इन द ग्रैंड थिएटर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स टू एक्टर्स प्ले पाइवेटल रोल्स द कलोसल फोर्सेज ऑफ जनरल इलेक्टिविटी एंड द मिस्टीरियस डांस ऑफ क्वांटा मैकेनिक्स बट बोथ दीज थ्योरीज कुड नॉट एक्सप्लेन ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स लाइक ब्लैक होल सिंगुलरिटी हॉकिंग रेडिएशन एंड क्वांटम टर्निंग असेक्टर वट इफ देर इज अ स्क्रिप्ट दैट कुड यूनाइट देर परफॉर्मेंस द थ्योरी ऑफ एवरीथिंग एम्स टू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफरिंग अ डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द हाउ द यूनिवर्स ऑपरेट्स एट एवरी स्केल लेट्स डाइव इन टू क्वेस्ट फॉर दिस अल्टीमेट थ्योरी लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द आइंस्टाइन जनरल रिलेटिविटी ओवर हंड्रेड ईयर्स एगो आइंस्टाइन इंट्रोड्यूस अस टू अ रेवोल्यूशनरी आइडिया डेदर दैन थिंकिंग ऑफ ग्रेविटी एज एन इनविजिबल फोर्स ही सोड अस दैट मैसिव ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक स्टार्स एंड प्लैनेट्स एक्चुअली बैंड द वेरी फेब्रिक ऑफ स्पेस एंड टाइम अराउंड दैम लाइक अ बॉल ऑन अ ट्रैम्प्रोलिन दिस बैंडिंग ऑफ अ स्पेस टाइम इज वट वी फील एज ग्रेविटी लार्जर मोर मैसिव ऑब्जेक्ट्स क्रिएट स्ट्रॉगर ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड्स बाय करविंग स्पेस टाइम मोर ड्रामेटिकली इन अदर वर्ड्स जनरल रिलेटिविटी डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ एवरीथिंग इन द यूनिवर्स इंट्रैक्ट्स ऑन अ ग्रैंड स्केल फ्रॉम द ऑर्बिट ऑफ प्लैनेट्स to the formation of galaxies but as powerful as it is general relativity only really works with the large objects when we try to apply it to the smallest particles things get messy and that's where quantum mechanics comes in while general relativity rules the cosmos quantum mechanics is the law of the micro world this theory describes particles like electron and proton which don't behave in any way we are used to Electrons can be in multiple places at once until we measure them a state called superposition and particles can even be entangled so that changing one particle intensely affects another even across galaxies quantum mechanics however struggles to explain things on a larger scale this is because the particles and interaction it describes don't neatly align with the predictable structure of general relativity when you try to apply both theories at once like near a black hole where massive gravitational forces meet quantum scale particles the calculation breaks down and here is the cosmic dilemma in situations where both massive objects and tiny particles come into play the math does not add up take black holes for instance general relativity tells us that inside a black hole gravity becomes infinite creating a singularity an infinite dense point but according to quantum mechanics infinities can't exist and particles known to behave this way this conflict has puzzled scientists for decades if we want to understand the universe in its entirety from the formation of galaxies to the tiniest particle in a cell we need a unified theory and it seems the solution may just have arrived a team of researchers Recently unveiled a framework that unifies these two worlds they have found an equation that makes einstein general relativity compatible with the quantum mechanics their theory suggests that the einstein field equation from general relativity is actually a kind of relativistic quantum equation to understand this we first need to understand how a particle is made The standard model divides all the non particles into two main groups fermions and bosons fermions are the particles that make up matter of quarks and lepton quarks are particles that combine to form protons and neutrons there are six types of quarks up down charm strange top and bottom another is the leptons these includes electrons found in atoms along with neutrinos which are tiny nearly massless particles that rarely interact with other matter the second is bosons this is the particles that carry forces acting as a force mediator between fermions these are of four types photon carries the electromagnetic force responsible for light and electricity gluon carries the strong nuclear force which holds quarks together within protons and neutrons W and Z bosons carry the weak nuclear force which is responsible for radioactive decay and Higgs boson gives particles mass through its interaction with them in the Higgs field now how this new 
theory can unify theory of relativity and theory of quantum physics imagine we are trying to understand two things at the same time the biggest stuff in space like stars and planets and the smallest bits of matter like electrons these two types of things are explained by different ideas einstein theory of relativity for big objects and quantum mechanics for tiny particles but these two ideas don't always agree now scientists developed a new way of thinking about tiny particles in the universe like leptons imagine them as tiny building blocks of matter they looked at how these particles interact with the both energies we can think as a pushes or forces and the curved shape of space called the space time caused by large objects like stars when we think of a particle like an electron we usually describe it with the two main features its mass how heavy it is and its charge how it interacts with the other particles the researchers decided to redefine these features connecting them not just to the particle itself but also to the energy around it and the shape of the space around it think of like a rubber sheet like a space with the tiny marbles like particles on it if you press on the sheet it curves the marble's movement depends not just on its own properties but also on the how the sheet is curved around it researchers showed that you can describe the particle's mass and charge in terms of how it presses on space so instead of using a lot of numbers to describe particles in space scientists found a way to describe everything with just two basic quantities planck length the smallest distance that has any meaning in space planck time the smallest unit of time we can measure by focusing on these two measurements the researchers believe they they might have a simpler way to connect all the forces and particles in the universe this helps the scientists find one language to explain both things big things like stars and small things like electrons in the same way so what does this mean for science first off it has a big implication for understanding of black holes black holes are areas where both quantum mechanics and relativity clash with this new equation we might finally be able to explain why black holes do not collapse into a singularity and how they maintain their structure and there's a more dark matter that invisible substance we can't see but no exist may be explainable through this new framework this equation has the potential to connect both the visible and the dark components of the universe potentially explaining everything from galaxy formation to the mysteries of the dark matter it often offers a lens on the big bang when the universe was born it was incredibly hot and dense a place where the quantum and gravitational forces would have been intensely intertwined this unified equation could help us understand those initial conditions offering insight into the very beginning of the time and space this uh, breakthrough is more than just a single equation it challenges the foundation of uh, physics imagine a universe where we no longer have to choose between the laws governing planets and the rules governing particles a universe where every physical phenomenon can be understood through a single framework this could reshape how we study everything from space exploration to atomic science as exciting as it this discovery is still in its early days scientists will need years perhaps decades to test refine and build upon this framework but the promise is there a uniform a universe where the big and the small the cosmos and the quantum finally come together in harmony if this video pings your curiosity hit the like button share it with friends Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Who knows what other mysteries we will unravel next. See you in the next video. Bye bye.